Hi! So in this activity, we're going to be listening to the sounds at the start of words, okay? And we're going to be stretching those sounds out so that we can hear them really well. So for example, I have my marker here. If I wanted to stretch out the beginning sound, I would say marker, okay? Another example of a word that I could stretch out are here, I have a picture of a star. So if I wanted to stretch out the beginning sound, I would say star. Or this here is a fish. It's not the best fish in the world, but it's a fish. So I would stretch that out by saying fish. This is a stop sign. So I could stretch out that sound by saying stop sign. And last, I have some fruit. So I could stretch out the beginning sound by saying fruit. Okay? So now that I've been listening carefully to the sounds at the beginning of those words, I want to put them in two groups. Things that begin with the same sound I want to put in the same groups. So I'm going to start with the star, okay? And because it's the first one, I'm just going to pick a circle. So I'm going to put the star in this circle, okay? Now, let's move to the next picture. It's a fish. Since fish does not sound the same as star, I'm going to put it over here. There's my star fish. Now this picture is of a stop sign. Will I put it with the star or the fish? I think star and stop sign start with the same sound, so I'm going to put it in this circle. Now my last picture over here, oh there we go, over here, is of fruit. So should fruit go with star and stop sign or fish? I think that I hear that fish and fruit start with the same sound. So I'm going to put my fruit, my banana, and my apple in that circle. So now in this circle I have star and stop sign because they both start with an S sound and I have fish and fruit because they start with a F sound. So now I'm going to show you some pictures of some other things and I'm going to say the names and stretch out the beginning sound. I want you to listen carefully because you're going to need to put these into three groups, okay? So the first picture that I have, let's see if I can hold it, there we go, so you can see it, is a fox. Fox. This is a monkey. Monkey. Seal. Seal. Sun, sun, feather, feather, moon, moon, milk, milk, sock, sock, fire, fire. And that's it. So I hope you listen carefully to those um, words because you're going to put them into three groups. So I'm going to show you what that looks like now. You need to move the items that start with the same sound into the same circle. So for example, moon starts with the same sound as monkey. So they go in the same circle.